why is it even important for us to figure out a strategies on packaging? Don't you just order from a manufacturer, Wilson? Well, it's important for you to get the different strategies because quality packaging is very expensive and requires very large orders. And that means you can possibly be sitting on hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on just packaging alone. And we wanna save you thousands of dollars with the DIY packaging in the very early stages before your business picks up. We wanna test the market. We wanna see if people are actually willing to pay you money for your food concept. And if people are, are not doing that, then why are you wasting thousands of dollars just on packaging alone? We don't wanna do that. And that's the reason why the strategies that I'm sharing with you today is so important. Now, some of the pro tips is you need to be aware of the minimum order quantity, otherwise known as MOQ. Do not order from well-known manufacturers because oftentimes their MOQ are in the hundreds, if not thousands. And that itself, you're gonna be sitting once again on hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on just packaging alone. Get a quote first and compare all the prices from all the different manufacturers. Having said that, just because I'm telling you not to order from your manufacturers right now, doesn't mean you shouldn't know about their MOQs and also their pricing. You should definitely also note it down because this becomes an option for you when your product has been tested, when you finalized it, and when people are ordering from you again and again. Also, with these manufacturers, what you can request is for free samples. And oftentimes they will, they will send you free samples on their dime. So this is something you should also always ask for our free samples. Next pro tip is to don't customize your packaging yet, guys. A lot of students, they always reach out, hey Wilson, I really, really wanna make this experience really, really great. I wanna make a kick-ass packaging, I wanna custom design this, custom design that, and do not do that until you have a hero product, until your items are flying off the shelf, until your DMs are exploded with orders. You do not wanna order custom packaging because it is expensive and unnecessary in this very early of your stage of your business. Wait until you, wait, wait to improve your packaging until your final product is ready. When you have built that attraction, when you have a lot of DMs ordering from you again and again, then we can think about custom packaging because by then you would have proper cash flow and you would have a demand that you know you can count on instead of just sitting on hundreds and hundreds of boxes at your home, okay? So what should you do instead? Wilson, don't order from these manufacturers. Don't order these big items. What do I do? Start locally with your retail stores. Doesn't mean that they don't have good packaging. Places like Michael's, dollar stores, and craft stores have a lot of great packaging for you. Cheaper total cost because they don't have a minimum order quantity. It's easy for pickup, it's easy for testing. Buy 10, buy 20, buy 50 of their packaging boxes and it would be a great place to start. And I know for a fact you're gonna be like, well, it's really expensive. It is okay because the total cost will be cheaper. And right now, we're trying to test the market. We were, we were trying to go to the market with the least amount of investment that there is. And that's the reason why go with these local stores and retail stores. And they also have very cute packaging, especially the dollar stores around you. They have great stuff, okay? Also, the second place to look for packaging would be online retailers like Amazon or online packaging companies. The thing that you do need to be aware of are the delivery days because usually, uh, especially with what's going on right now, there are a lot of shift in logistics. Some of the sample online retailers, you can check these places out. I find that they also have really great packaging uh, uh, um, solutions for you, okay? An example would be Uline versus Amazon. So I was telling you that, hey, you know what? When you're ordering from manufacturers, they have big MOQs. What does that look like? For a bag like this, I need to order a thousand of these bags at 30 cents. Yes, per unit, it is cheaper. However, with Amazon, for the same bags, I can order 50 bags instead of the thousand. Although the prices are almost double, I'm okay with that to begin with because at the end of the day, if I sell 25, 30 units of my food concept and later on I realize that, oh, you know what? I need to make a tweak. I need to make changes. I wouldn't be sitting on 
hundreds of bags just because we're pivoting, just because we're changing our concept. And they, these items would all go to waste. And that's the reason why to begin with, it is okay to order units at a higher cost because you won't be wasting it. And in turn, you're going to be saving more money to begin with. So now it is your turn, guys. Do the research and figuring out the best packaging for your product. Go to your local craft stores. Go to the Dollaramas and look at different packaging. And once again, I find them having a lot of different great solutions for you. Also, prototype versions with affordable materials from your local stores, okay? This is, once again, your prototype only, okay? Use the template that we're providing in the link below and throw in all the possible packaging solutions that you have found and their prices per unit 